felt led by the Holy Spirit to come on here and to read Psalms 22 and 23. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just ask for your protection while I read this. Satan has messed with me one time when I made this video earlier this afternoon, and I pray for your protection as I record it again. Father God, we ask that you please send the people who need to hear these words to hear your words to this video so that they may be touched by your truth. Father, we also ask that you please soften the hearts of those that are closest to us, who are lost, whom we cannot reach. We know that through your spirit, Father, that you can reach them and you can touch them. Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In, in you our ancestors trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved, in you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me, they make mouths at me, they shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord, let him deliver, let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb, you kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my birth, and since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death. For dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and glow over me. They divide my clothes amongst themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. I'd like to make a note in the King James Version. What it actually says is, My hands and feet are pierced. Verse 19. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. From the horns of the wild ox, you have rescued me. I will tell your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember to turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nation shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him indeed shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down into the dust, and I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. Psalm 23, I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. 
for you are with me. Your rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long, or forever, as it says in the King James Version. I hope that you hear the cry the plea of God in these psalms, the, the cry in the Psalm 22 and then the comfort in Psalm 23. Um, but yeah, Satan didn't win this time. We successfully recorded this. I'm going to save it. I would like to end the prayer. Father, we love you and we thank you for everything you've given us, for the wisdom, for the foresight, for the acknowledgement of truth. Father, we just ask that you please bless each and every person listening to this and each and every one of their families. Please cover them with a hedge of protection. With love in Christ, amen.